Hello everybody, so here uh, we're going to pick up where we left off uh, with our uh, Power BI uh, report uh, in the Power online Power BI app and we're going to be making a, a bar chart uh, for this uh, second video in the series here and uh, before we do that let's just take a look at the data again that we're going to be working with. We have in the rows we have countries and years um, and then in the columns we have two, uh, three variables, but two we're going to be working with today. Uh, we have female labor force participation rates, we have GDP per capita, and then we have the VDEM polyarchy score. Uh, and in a previous uh, video I had merged the VDEM polyarchy score uh, and uh, in order to show students how to do that, uh, but for uh, the purposes of this series, we're just going to be working with female labor force participation and GDP per capita. So we have um, both a cross section in terms of the countries uh, that we're looking at, and we have a time series in terms of the year. And note that the year isn't a date format. Um, so uh, if we look at up here at the format of this, it's in a date format. That way, Power BI can recognize that it is a time series. So those are the data we're going to be working with. And we're going to go back in here uh, to the example that we closed out of earlier, uh, the report that we started uh, called the Turkey Day example. And uh, we're going to start here by clicking Edit. And then once that loads, we're going to start building our report and we're going to start with a, uh, with a column chart or a bar chart. And we're going to click here on stacked column chart. Uh, we could also build other types of bar charts, uh, but we're going to just focus here today on the stacked column chart. Uh, and we can expand that a little bit to fill up more of the report area here. Uh, and then we, what we want to do is we want to go to this middle uh, data set here. This is, these are the merged data from the previous lesson. And here we see that Power BI is recog recognizing these as numbers. That's uh, what the sum sign indicates. And then we have different aspects of the date. Let's go ahead and click on um, female labor force participation. This is the main variable that we want to look at. And go ahead and drag it into the y-axis. Uh, and then we can take country name and we could put country name on the x-axis here. Okay, and now we see all of the countries are illustrated in the bar chart. We don't necessarily need all of the countries. So let's click on this here. Uh, this icon is focus mode so we can see that a little bit bigger. We can see what's going on. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to visualize just uh, the BRICS countries here. So um, well, actually, before we do that, let's uh, take a step back and we notice here that we have like, this is supposed to be female labor force participation, but notice the figures here on the y-axis are 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. That doesn't make any sense. That's because we have the sum of female labor force participation. We don't want the sum. So let's go ahead and change that to the average for each country, okay? And so then we have... Uh, average female labor force participation for all across all of the years for each country. That's essentially what we're looking at here. And then from there, what we want to do is we want to filter down the number of countries that we're going to be looking at. Um, so country is all. So I don't think we want all of the countries. So let's just start uh, searching for countries we want to see in this visual so uh, you can select any countries but uh, we'll just go ahead with the BRICS countries because we've been using that example in other videos too so and throughout the course so we'll go ahead and select Brazil and then Russia India China South Africa 
and then we can also go ahead and take the world average okay there we go um, so that looks pretty good there uh, and then what we can do is we can start to format the visual a little bit and to format it you click on this icon format your visual and uh, let's see first thing on the x-axis um, you know, uh, maybe it's debatable whether or not we need a title for the x-axis because we kind of know that it's the country name, so we could turn that on or off. That's one option. For the y-axis, maybe instead of saying average of female labor force participation, uh, that could be uh, maybe a little bit... Um, a little bit confusing so instead of having the auto title here we can click on title uh, again this is y-axis and then title we can change it to maybe uh, female FLFP percent okay um, and then let's see what else might we want to change uh, we could go to columns and we can look at the colors here and then one option here is to uh, show all for the colors for the columns. Okay, and that'll show us all of the countries in this case that we have in this column chart. Um, and we could change the color for each country and make it more colorful. I'm just going to go ahead and change the world average here so that that stands out. So now we have red for world and then the rest of the countries are blue. Okay, and then... Um, from there, we might want to go to the general tab and look at the title for in the general tab. And instead of saying average female labor force participation by country name, um, we can, well, let's go back to the report here. And now we can see up here uh, a little more clearly the title average of female labor force participation by country name. So we're out of focus mode now. So let's just call this um, uh, female labor force participation in the BRICS. Okay. And uh, that title should update. Yep. And there we go. And there we have our bar chart. Um, and that's uh, pretty much... Uh, all you need to do in order to do a bar chart. Um, so in the next video, we'll go ahead and add a line chart down here in this space. Um, and that'll take advantage of the time series data that we just saw in the spreadsheet. Um, and, uh, and that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.